In this video, I'm going to talk about the ISIS network types, broadcast and also point-to-point -point network type. You know that in previous videos, we configured point-to-point -point interfaces or point-to-point -point networks in ISIS. We learned how we can configure, for example, serial interface with the point-to-point -point ISIS network type, how we can uh, for example, established neighborship and what are the neighborships conditions, okay? In this video, our focus is on the broadcast networks. This is the next type of network type in the ISIS. In ISIS, natively, we have only two network types. The first is point-to-point -point network type and the second is broadcast network type, okay? Look at this scenario. In this scenario, as you can see here between the rotor 1 and rotor 3 and also rotor 2 and rotor 3, we have we are using two serial links, okay? And this means that here between these two rotors, R1, R3, R2, R3, okay? We are using the point-to-point -point network types as you saw in the previous videos. But look at the right part of the scenario to the area 490002. Here we have rotor 4, rotor 5, rotor 6, and rotor 7 connected to one Ethernet switch with uh, their Ethernet interfaces. This is the multi-access or broadcast network type in the ISIS. In ISIS, we are using the term of broadcast, but really, actually, this is the multi-access network. Why? The reason is that ISIS is not really concerned about the capability of the, uh, for example, data link layer of the Ethernet technology to replicate broadcast, okay? It's not relevant to broadcast and multicast, but rather to create a communication environment, such as this scenario, in which multiple neighbors can be reached over the same interface and each rotor can talk to each other rotor on the link while we will adhere to the terminology specified in the ISIS standard by using the term broadcast the true meaning is more relevant to the term multi-access multi-access is the real fact for ISIS. In ISIS, we don't worry about replicating a broadcast. We are, are worrying about the, for example, multi-accessing between um, some rotors. Because of that, we are using the, uh, the broadcast keyword, but we know that the broadcast is not important for us. The things that are important for us is the multi-access between, multi-access environment between some rotors. Okay, here is the, um, has network type of multi-access or broadcast. We call it broadcast network type. This is so similar with the multi-access networks in the OSPF. In OSPF also, in multi-access environment, we are using the term broadcast network type. Also in ISIS, we are using the same term, broadcast network type, okay? Because of that, in ISIS, Finally, we have two network types. The first is point-to-point -point, and the second is the broadcast network type. Also, between rotor 3 and 4, we have Ethernet link. This is also the broadcast network types. Why? Because this is the Ethernet link and in Ethernet, we are using the broadcast network types. Look at this picture. In this picture, as you can see, we have four rotors, R4, R5, R6, and R7. And as a, between them, we are using one Ethernet switch. Because of that, when you are configuring ISIS on the Ethernet 00 of R4, R5, R6, and R7, we will have these numbers of the neighborship. You know that because this is the Ethernet links, R4 can establish neighborship with rotor 5, rotor 6, and rotor 7. And the number of neighborship can be increased with the increasing the number of uh, for example, rotors. Here, uh, the numbers of the neighborship is, uh, for example, n, n is the number of the rotors, multiply n minus 1 over 2, okay? Uh, for example, the number of neighborship is the uh, 4, multiply 3, then over 2, divided by 2, and this means that we have finally uh, totally 6 neighborship, 1, 
two, three, four, five, and six. It's okay. And also in every rotor, we need in every rotor, we need or IS, we need N minus one link state exchange. Why? Because R4 needs to send its LSP to R5 and then to R6 and finally to R7. Again, in the R7, we need to N minus one LSP exchange in R5 and also in R6. This means that finally in all of the network, okay, the numbers of the LSP exchange should be equal with the N uh, multiply N minus one. Okay, we have N rotors and every rotor uh, need to exchange link states, it's link states with N minus one. Okay, and when you are using, for example, 100 rotors or more than 100 rotors, this is a huge LSP, LSP exchange. We have a solution for solving this problem. Okay, the solution is same as the solution in the uh, OSPF. In OSPF, we are using DR and also BDR. In ISIS, we are using DIS, DIS or designated IS. What is the D, uh, DIS? In multi-access or broadcast network, one of the rotors with the mechanism that I will talk about that is selected as the DIS or designated IS. You know that R4, R5, R6 and R7, all of these rotors are IS, but one of them is selected as the DIS with a specific mechanism. After that, every rotor needs to exchange only with this DIS, the link assist. Look at here. Assume that here we have the uh, four rotors and every rotor need to exchange only one with the DIS. This is the virtual rotor. It's LSPs. It's more efficient. I will talk about the detail of this in future videos and in the LSP part of the videos. But in this time, let me to talk about the DIS itself. DIS has two functionality. The first functionality or responsibility is helping rotors on a broadcast segment to synchronize. This is the function that I will talk about that in the future videos. But another functionality is the representing the broadcast segment, this, this segment in the link state database as a standalone object, the pseudo node. This is the pseudo node or virtual rotor. Okay, look at here. This is similar to the DR in OSPF. With this function, we have less LSP exchange and, and we can save our resources such as the CPU, such as the memory, such as the bandwidth. Okay, and DIS is the responsible, is responsible IS for generating LSPs. This means that, assume that R4 or, uh, for example, R7 needs to generate its LSPs. It should uh, generate LSP and sending uh, only to DIS, okay? Not to all other neighbors in this segment, R4, R7, and, R and R6. It should send the uh, uh, LSP, its LSP to DIS, and DIS can f uh, advertise, re-advertise uh, to other rotors. This means that, I, I'm not responsible in R7 for advertising all to all of my neighbors, my LSPs. I need to send only to the DIS. DIS is responsible for advertising to other uh, ISs. And also DIS has another function and that is representing the broadcast segment, segment in the LSTB as a standalone object. The, uh, this is the up, this is the, uh, for example, uh, view of these broadcast networks in the mind of other rotors. In, in the mind of other rotors, in the LSTB of other rotors, we have some point-to-point uh, -point links. You know that this is really is a broadcast networks. But you know that in LSTB, we need to inject only point-to-point -point links, okay? Not network type of point-to-point. -point. The link between two rotor. With DIS, now we have four link between two rotors only, R4 and DIS, R7 and DIS, R5 and DIS, R6 and DIS, okay? I will talk about these features in the future videos, but for now, the question is that, how DIS is elected, okay? In the ISIS, we are using the priority of interfaces for electing the DIS.